Daddy Star Wars fans and collectors, thanks for joining me for another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. Just before I get into it, um, I would be super, super happy if you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And uh, also giving my videos a thumbs up as you watch them. Um, I'm trying to be really, really active and super, super active on my YouTube channel. And if I say that again in a different way, I will have to hit myself. But I won't. I'll give you all a thumbs up in advance. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, we're looking at Ahsoka Tano from Star Wars Rebels. This is the uh, updated photorealistic version. Uh, she has a, some minor deco changes, I believe. Um, I will be doing a side-by-side, -side, so I'm, I'm looking forward to, uh, to reviewing this one side-by-side -side with uh, the original Ahsoka from Star Wars Rebels. I actually have that figure three times, so... <laughs> um, I'm excited to buy this figure again. Fourth time lucky. Let's, let's uh, crack her open and take a look. All right, here is the updated Ahsoka Tano. She's looking pretty damn good. I really like this figure. Um, I was always a fan of the original, um, but yeah, seeing seeing the way they've um, redone the face on this one is uh, super duper fantastic. I'm really, really happy with this one. Just the, eye, the more color around the eyes just gives it a little bit more depth. Um, I feel like her Montrals sort of a little bit more tidier uh, the paintwork just feels a little bit tidier on this one as well um, so it's definitely gone back and sort of just just tidied up this figure a little bit and just yeah just a nice sense of realism um, so I'll try and get the two together in one shot here they're both tricky to stand <laughs> um, so there you go side by side there Again, I still really love this old old Ahsoka here. It's a fantastic figure. Um, yeah, aside from that, I don't think there are any other deco changes. There don't appear to be too much else going on. Um, the new one seems to have a little bit more darker fabric of the soft goods down around there. Um, but yeah, just, just looking at them here from my vantage point, there's not a great deal of difference. Ever so slight changes in shading, perhaps, but that's just the uh, paint in the factories more than anything. Um, the lightsabers definitely appear to be a little more blue in this one, but I like the I like the white ones, the whiter ones more, so I may switch them out. But yeah, I'll move I'll move the old one out of the way. We'll get a nice close up look here. So all around the sides, specifically in these gaps here, there were a couple of the old version that were just a little bit messy. But uh, they seem to have got it this time, a little bit of extra white bleeding onto the face in that corner there, but that could be, um, yeah, perhaps a little bit, but it's not too bad at all. I'm really, really happy with it. Ahsoka has become a uh, favourite character of mine over the over the years, and uh, yeah, I can't get enough. I'm really looking forward to the the uh, Black Series Ahsoka from Season Seven of the Clone Wars. Um, despite the fact that they did use some elements from this figure and repainted, but um, I'm still still pretty pumped to have that figure. So I'm looking forward to that coming, hopefully next week. Um, Yeah, that is Ahsoka Tano. Fulcrum. Amazing character. Absolutely amazing. Big fan. Let me know in the comments what you think of this figure. Is this one worth a re repurchase? <laughs> An update, pick up, new pick up? Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And, uh, yeah, see what everyone else thinks. So I'll be back very soon with some more videos. Until then, may the force be with you. Always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.